Beyond the familiar planets and the asteroid belt lies a realm of profound mystery, the Oort Cloud. This vast spherical shell of icy objects envelops our solar system, marking its outermost frontier. Imagine a cosmic bubble, trillions of miles wide, populated by remnants from the solar system's formation. These icy denizens, remnants of the early solar system, hold clues to our cosmic origins. The Oort cloud is so distant that its existence is primarily theoretical, based on the observed orbits of long-period comets. Yet, its influence on our solar system is undeniable. It serves as a reservoir of icy bodies, occasionally sending these visitors from the solar system's edge, hurtling toward the sun. The Oort cloud resides in the farthest reaches of the sun's gravitational influence, a region so remote that it challenges our understanding of the solar system's boundaries. It's so distant that one astronomical unit, the distance between the Earth and the Sun becomes a meaningless measure in this context. Instead, we use light years, the distance light travels in a year, to describe these vast expanses. This unit helps us grasp the immense scale of the Oort cloud's location. The inner edge of the Oort cloud is estimated to begin at about 1,000 astronomical units from the Sun, marking the start of this distant region. To put that into perspective, Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, orbits at an average distance of 39.5 astronomical units. This comparison highlights just how far the Oort cloud extends beyond the known planets. The outer edge extends outward, perhaps as far as 100,000 astronomical units, which is almost halfway to the next nearest star system, Proxima Centauri. This immense distance underscores the vastness of our solar system's outermost frontier. Within this vast expanse, trillions of icy objects, remnants from the solar system's formation, are loosely bound by the sun's gravity. These objects have remained largely unchanged for billions of years. These objects, ranging in size from small pebbles to dwarf planets, are the building blocks of comets. When disturbed, they can journey towards the inner solar system, becoming the spectacular comets we observe from Earth. The Oort Cloud is a cosmic graveyard of sorts, preserving these icy relics from the solar system's birth. It serves as a time capsule, offering a glimpse into the early conditions and materials that shaped our solar system. The concept of the Oort Cloud emerged from the brilliant mind of Dutch astronomer Jan Hendrik Oort in 1950. Oort, a visionary in the field of astronomy, was deeply intrigued by the mysteries of our solar system and the cosmos beyond. Oort was puzzled by the peculiar orbits of long-period comets, those taking thousands or even millions of years to complete a single journey around the Sun. These comets, with their elongated and unpredictable paths, seemed to defy the conventional understanding of celestial mechanics. He realized that these comets couldn't have originated from the plane of the solar system where the planets reside. The orbits of these comets suggested a different origin, one that lay far beyond the familiar planetary orbits. Oort proposed that a vast, spherical cloud of icy bodies must exist far beyond the orbits of the planets. This hypothetical cloud, now known as the Oort Cloud, was envisioned to be a distant and mysterious region of our solar system. This cloud, he theorized, served as a reservoir for long-period comets. It was a place where countless icy bodies lay in wait, only to be occasionally disturbed and sent on their long journeys. These icy bodies nudged by the gravitational tugs of passing stars or galactic tides would occasionally be dislodged from their distant orbits, sending them on long elliptical journeys toward the Sun. This process explained the origin of long-period comets and provided a deeper understanding of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. The Oort Cloud is believed to have two distinct regions, the Inner Oort Cloud and the Outer Oort Cloud. The inner Oort cloud, also known as the Hills Cloud, is shaped more like a torus, or donut, and is more densely populated with icy objects. The outer Oort cloud, on the other hand, is spherical and more sparsely populated. The icy objects within the Oort cloud are thought to be composed primarily of water ice, methane, ammonia, and other volatile compounds. These are the same materials that make up the nuclei of comets. In the frigid depths of the Oort cloud, these compounds are frozen solid, remnants of the protoplanetary disk from which our solar system formed. The Oort cloud is not a static entity, it's constantly being sculpted and perturbed by gravitational forces from beyond our solar system. 
Passing stars and the gravitational tides of the Milky Way galaxy itself can nudge Oort cloud objects, altering their orbits and sending some of them inward toward the Sun. Imagine a group of marbles rolling around on a trampoline. If you were to roll a basketball across the trampoline, its gravity would disrupt the marble's paths, sending some of them scattering in different directions. Similarly, passing stars can gravitationally disrupt the orbits of Oort cloud objects, sending some of them plunging toward the sun. When an Oort cloud object is nudged onto a trajectory that brings it closer to the sun, something spectacular happens. These objects, which have been drifting in the distant reaches of our solar system for billions of years, suddenly come to life. As the icy object approaches the sun it begins to warm up. This warming process is gradual but relentless, transforming the once frozen body into something entirely different. The sun's heat sublimates the ices, that is it causes them to transition directly from a solid to a gas, creating a glowing coma or atmosphere around the icy nucleus. This transformation is both beautiful and dramatic. This coma can extend for thousands of kilometers, and it's what gives comets their fuzzy appearance. The larger the coma, the more spectacular the comet appears in the night sky. The sun's radiation pressure and solar wind then push this material outward, creating the comet's distinctive tail. This tail is composed of gas and dust particles that have been released from the comet's nucleus. The tail always points away from the sun, regardless of the comet's direction of motion. This is due to the constant pressure exerted by the solar wind, which shapes the tail and directs it away from the sun. Long period comets, those with orbital periods greater than 200 years, are believed to originate from the Oort cloud. These comets have long, unpredictable orbits that can take them far out of the plane of the solar system. They are like time capsules from the solar system's early history, carrying pristine material from the Oort cloud. One famous example is Comet Hale-Bopp, which graced our skies in 1997 with its brilliant display. Hale-Bopp has an orbital period of about 2,533 years, meaning it last visited the inner solar system around the time of the ancient Greeks. Not all comets come from the distant Oort cloud. Short-period comets, those with orbital periods of less than 200 years, are thought to originate from the Kuiper Belt a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune's orbit. These comets have shorter, more predictable orbits that are generally confined to the plane of the solar system. One well-known example is Halley's Comet, which has an orbital period of about 76 years. Halley's Comet last visited the inner solar system in 1986, and it's due back in 2061. The Oort cloud is thought to have formed early in the history of the solar system from the remnants of the protoplanetary disk that gave rise to the planets. As the sun ignited and the planets began to form, they scattered leftover planetesimals, or small planetary building blocks, throughout the solar system. Some of these planetesimals were flung outward by the gravitational influence of the giant planets, particularly Jupiter and Saturn. These icy bodies, scattered to the outermost reaches of the solar system, formed the Oort cloud. Over billions of years, the gravitational influence of passing stars and the Milky Way galaxy itself further shaped and sculpted the Oort cloud into its current form. The Oort cloud remains a realm of profound mystery. Its vast distance and the faintness of its icy inhabitants make it incredibly challenging to observe directly. However, astronomers are developing new telescopes and techniques that will allow us to probe the Oort cloud in greater detail. Future space missions might one day be able to rendezvous with an Oort cloud object, providing us with close-up views and valuable information about the composition and history of these icy relics from the solar system's birth. Studying the Oort cloud can help us to understand not only the formation of our own solar system, but also the processes that shape planetary systems throughout the universe. The Oort cloud, a vast icy halo surrounding our solar system, is a testament to the dynamic and chaotic forces that shaped our cosmic neighborhood. This distant realm of icy wanderers, remnants from the solar system's formation, serves as a reservoir for long-period comets, sending these icy messengers from the solar system's edge, hurtling toward the sun. These comets, like time capsules from the solar system's early history, offer tantalizing clues about the conditions that prevailed during our solar system's birth. 
As we develop new technologies and embark on ambitious space missions, we can look forward to unlocking the secrets of the Oort Cloud, gaining a deeper understanding of our cosmic origins and the vastness of the universe we inhabit. The Oort Cloud is simply mind-boggling, isn't it? There's so much yet to be learned and discovered out there. Stay tuned for more talks of cosmic wonders. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.